We've told you how the state of Iowa has been considering major changes to the AEA system of support for public schools in the state. And that has caused a lot of concern for parents who need these services and they fear they're going to lose them if these changes go through. WHO 13's Roger Riley has been checking into this. He joins us live from outside the state house with details on where we stand as of right now. Roger. Yeah, right now I, I just uh, checking in with somebody that knows something about the AEA for years. I've, I've never really been involved with that to know what they do. Well, today I found out I talked to Kelly Simmons of Des Moines. She told me that two of her three kids have needed services they could only get through the AEA. I would say between the two children, um, Olivia, uh, my daughter, has a severe autism, so um, she has no sense of safety. Um, she'll always require residential treatment and 24-hour staffing. Um, and she, although she can speak, she's mostly nonverbal. Um, so speech therapy, assistive technology, um, and uh, even occupational therapy are things that we work on um, with her through the AEA. Now, it started with Kelly's oldest son, CJ. He had mild autism. Agency workers noticed her daughter, Olivia, at that time was one, and she has been as she, dealing with autism in a big way. Now, she has trouble sleeping and can have some emotional problems. Mom Kelly found herself being an advocate for special ed services. She even ran for and was elected to the Southeast Polk School Board. Now, she says resources for parents like her are scarce. New cases can often have to wait from two to four years to get service. And so when you're looking at data and making these decisions, I, you know, the people that are, are on the front lines performing the work as parents, our educators, our superintendents, our teachers most of all, you need to be listening to those people. This is not something that should be rushed. This is not something that we can afford to get wrong. Mm -hmm. We are, as families, as parents out here, the children are already struggling. Now, Kelly Simmons told me that her South, that working with the Southeast Polk Schools, they've been great for her family to work with. Meanwhile, here at the State House tomorrow, that issue is going to be coming up again in subcommittee. Uh, lawmakers will be going back and working on those revisions and seeing what is revised and what does not get revised, Elias. All right, Roger Riley with the very latest on this uh, very big issue for a number of families here in our state tonight at the State House. Thank you, Roger.